morning, good afternoon or good evening. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening for Napoleon. He's busy doing his work on his chip packet design. His is chicken neck flavour. Sorry, I don't know whether you would like it, but chicken necks are his flavour. Aren't they? We love chicken necks. So he's just working on that while we go through ours. So thank you to those people who sent me their logo designs. Last week we were working on our company name, our logo. So when we look at chips, which we looked at last week, I had to go and buy most of these again because my family ate them last week. But that's all right. That's okay. That's what they were there for. So we looked last week mostly at logos. So we looked at the Thins, the Samboy, the Smiths, the Twisties. Now, I bought a few new ones this week to have a look at. Now, I want you to look at these as a whole. When you do the packet design, you need to think, how are you going to make your product stand out from everyone else's? So when we do this at school, we often at the end have a competition where I put everyone's up. Only, I'm not really big into competitions, but if you had a product out on the market, you're competing against other chip packets the same. So we would get everyone in the school to vote and I still might do this when we go back or print off and do them. People will look at a few things. First, which catches their eye? Now, a few things with that. Often, it's the color. So people have used very bright colors in their designs, but what I've noticed lately is people are going more for what stands out. So when I look at all that together, this new product here to me stands out the most. Now it's not the brightest, but because it's got all this white, you look at the logo and you look at that a little bit more, then this is very busy. Now another thing is you have to think about who are you making these chips for? Are you making them for kids more? which I think these sort of brighter colours are. Mind you, everyone loves a twisty and all that. But who are you aiming for? Whereas these products here are a little bit more for the adult market. Same with your Red Rock Deli and your Kettle because they've gone for more flavours that adults would like. Mozzarella and basil. I'm not saying that kids don't like them, but they're sort of aiming at the more adult market. So today we are going to brainstorm some flavours first because often you connect your flavours with what you're going to do. So have a look here. So the orange and yellow cheese. You connect those colours to cheese. Light and tangy, they've sort of related that into like a light fresh flavour. This hot and cheesy is the bright orangey red. Now, the blue for the sea salt. So also the image they've got at the sea for sea salt. Salt and vinegar has always been related to pink. So to me, that's more like a balsamic vinegar, but pink has always been related to that. Um, the basil, obviously, the green. Now, um, Ruby wanted some Pringles. So we got Pringles. And in this logo, they've got that cute guy that you recognize with the Pringles, sour cream and onion. So when we first job is to decide your flavor and then you decide the colors and what you're going to put on there because a lot of time now they're putting objects that are in there. So have a look down here. There's basil pesto on the actual packet and in here the sour cream and chili is actually on the packet to tell you what's in there. So that's happened more recently. Whereas in the past, they didn't do that so much. So have a look, this design's been around since I was a kid. They didn't put the actual object on in those days. And do you know what? These have been around so long, you don't need to do that. So it's sort of like a mixture of old, past, and really, so that one has been around for a very, very long time. And this is one of the newest. This is, I have never seen this before. All right, this is so much fun. So what I loved was people who sent me more than one logo. Even I did three logos. And in the end, there was one that I liked the most. And I wouldn't have come up, that was my last one I did. And I wouldn't have come up with that until the end. All right, so let's go through the process now. 
so what we need to do oh i just i printed these off there's quite a lot of flavors that have been done that were only on the market for a really small time one i think is a bit unusual and most of these were for australia day so pie and sauce now sorry the printing isn't fantastic but pie and sauce i've got my school printer at the moment pie and sauce very aussie lamington i actually tried that one i think i was the only one in the family that didn't mind that couldn't eat a lot of them but fairy bread ruby said she saw that i did have never seen fairy bread i would have loved to have tried that how cute is that very aussie we have got gravy okay i think there might be a reason why these still out there garlic bread i actually bought these recently a version of these for my son sam because he loves his garlic bread vegemite so aussie you couldn't get more aussie than that never tried it but vegemite now again have a look the colors they've used are the colors on the jar so you relate that yellow and the black directly to vegemite all right so that's it i've got my design there i'll show you later all right so first thing i would like you to do oh i missed this one the aussie snag and sauce snag and sauce and look at the aussie colors they've used all right so i'm just going to use one of the back of these to do a bit of brainstorming now what i want you to do first job like last week is brainstorm flavors I'm actually going to do two columns. Now, when you brainstorm, I know the kids at school have all different versions of how they brainstorm. Their teachers have taught them amazing things. I just go basically. So I'm going to go savoury on one side and sweet on the other. All right. Now, there's not many sweet chips out there. Probably a reason why. Now, when I started this project probably 15 years ago with my kids in Black Rock, there were no fancy chips. There was salt and vinegar, there was barbecue, really basic stuff. Whereas now, the flavours that Mr M comes home with are right out there. So, it's a bit different now and a bit more difficult to think of things that aren't already on the market. But don't worry, come up with things that maybe you like. Alright, so on the savoury side, I think I'm going to pizza. Pizza is one of my favourite flavours. I'm going to put pizza flavor. I'm going to put uh, a nip. Some of these will already be out there, but I love Thai chicken curry. I love. I wonder if you could do a sushi flavor. Maybe not. All right, nip. Maybe not. Hey, excuse me. Back to work. You're falling asleep on the computer. How's that going to get your logo? Your um, chip packet done. All right. Oh, on the sweet side, donuts. We love donuts. Popcorn flavor. Uh, cheesecake flavor. Now, really, some of these in chips, but you know what? We're being inventive. Oh, some more on the savory spy side. I love Italian herb. Now, I'm not going to do many because I want you to come up with your own ideas, all right? I want you to have at least 10 on each side because the more that you brainstorm, like I said last week, it was my third one was the one that I really liked. So, or maybe one more each for me, Miss M. Or Parmesan cheese. Cheese, I like. You know I'm not the world's best speller, so I'm just doing abbreviation. And oh, chocolate, chocolate and berry. Weird. Might have some chips that are chocolate, some are berry, and if you eat them together, I don't know. This is a creative space where people, you know, there is no crazy ideas because this is if you the wider you think then the more likely you're to come up with something new. All right, so there are my flavour ideas. Now, last week, I had, I did That Delights logo that I ended up doing on the computer. All right, so that was my first one. I did a hand-drawn. And then we went on the computer and I did this one. And then 
time I did this one. Now this is the one that I liked the best. So yesterday when I was working on my chip packet design, this is the one that I went with because it was a bit different. So that's the one that I'm going to use today. Um, now again, we can do a quick, let's do a quick mock-up, like a quick practice on some scrap paper. I use the back of other things. I don't like to waste paper. All right, so do a few quick sketches of what you think you might like your design to look like. Now, most of the time, now not always, look at that. Most of the time the logo's up high, this one's down lower, so no right or wrong. So this one's down lower and they've got the picture up higher, but I think everything else, the logo, see that logo there? Um, some of you needed to simplify your logos. Logos really should be quite simple because they're on every single pack and all your sort of other stuff is quite busy. So a few of you need to simplify your logo and that's fine to do during this process. All right, so I think I'm gonna put mine up higher. I'm gonna put, now when you're doing the um, design, you know, the mock-up, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, now, what was my slogan for this? It was sweet and, what was it, nip your, Oh, let me have a look. I think I've got it in here. Do you can't even remember my own slogan. It must have been very good. Sweet, sweet and sweet and tasty, tasty. Now I'd put chips on there because people might get confused, especially if they're sweet. So I might put chips in the logo. Now, every single time I design something, that my logo is going to be there and then my flavours will change down the bottom. Now, where's my brainstorming? I did, I think out of my brainstorming, my sweet ones, because this company's delights, sweet and tasty. I think I'm going to do donuts. So I'm going to put a donut here. And I'm going to write donut flavour over the top. And I love, what sort of donut? Oh, I'm going to put cinnamon. Cinnamon donut flavour. I might put in a, made in Australia. Oh gosh, that's the worst Australia. Oh, there you go, Tassie. Made in Australia. Now, how big are the small packs? 60... 45, I'm just going to do a small pack. All right, and I'm going to have somewhere, I think, no, uh, to be sure, colours or flavours. Now, you can have a look online at all the different things that they've got written on there. All right, so at the moment, gluten-free is a big thing. Um, a lot of people don't like gluten-free, so I've got less fat, vegan-friendly. Um, now, don't forget your little slogan on there. Uh, no artificial colours and flavours. So there's some of the things that you can... This one's got Dally style to make it a little bit more fancy. This for me, Australian made. I really like having that one. That one's got 100% natural on it. So there, you have a, have a little look at the different th sort of things that you would like to add to yours. So as I said, really quick, go at doing a plan. You don't have to put too much effort into your plan. Now, some people want to do theirs by hand, absolutely fine. You can do it by hand, but we're going to have a go. Even if you do it by hand, I'd like you to have a go at practicing with Google Draw. Now, um, Otto and Monty and their dad, Richard, sent me some that they did on Illustrator, I think it was, Illustrator Nip. Um, Amazing. If you have another program that you want to use and someone else, I can't remember, sent me one on their favourite program, you don't have to use Google Draw. It's just that that's what easy, easy that we have at school and it's a really basic program to start with. So, all right, we're going to stop for a minute and I'll get my computer ready and we'll go on to the computer side of things.
ready to go. All right, so this is um, my logo that I decided to do that we did last week. Now, um, if you haven't done one yet, you need to do that first. Now, zoom right in, Mr. M, and have a look. Go up to edit, open that, and down to select all. And that will grab your whole entire logo. Then you can copy, so command and copy. And I'm going to open new file. Down to drawing. So I've still got my logo there. So we don't lose it in case something happens. And then paste here. Alright, now I'm going to move that to the middle. Alright, so that's the base of my chip packet so far. Actually, I think I'm going to move it up. So select all again. Just move it up so I've got more room for the chip packet down underneath. Alright, so now I'm going to go up here to shapes. Grab the square and make the chip packet. Oh, that happened last week too. Let's see. Right, get rid of. Go up to shapes. Okay, hold down, drag it. Now, the one thing that I use the most in all of this is layering. It's all about the layers. So go up to arrange, order, and I want to send that to the back. Now I'm going to make that white. So you go to the bucket and fill with a colour. Or oh, it's not quite the same. Might go the next one over. Fantastic. All right. Now I am going to put a circle around my logo. Now uh, let me just see if I can get rid of that line. Can I get rid of the line? Oh, not really. All right. I'm going to put a circle around my logo. I think. Go down to circle. Drag it out. Now, now I've got to make this one transparent, but first I'm going to send it to the back, arrange, order, send to the back, but that means I've got to send this big one even behind that one. So it's all about what sits where. Uh, now it takes a bit of fiddling with. I've got to try and get rid of that square around it. I've got a finished one that I did yesterday that I can show you, move these around a bit. Now remember you can't move things until you've got your four arrow. That's really important. A lot of kids ask me how do I move it. See that little four arrow there? Nothing moves unless you have that. Now I'm going to do that shape there, the circle one. I'm going to make it thicker. So you can go up there, border weight. I'm going to make it about a three and I'm going to color it to a nice red. There we go. I've got to get rid of this line here. There we go. Oh, bingo, baby. Move that down a bit. All right. I might make this bigger, I think. Sweet and tasty chips because that's really important. Maybe 30. Oh! That happens means your text box isn't big enough so you just need now if you want to change anything you've got to highlight it I'm just going to make that in the middle there we go remember to move you need your four now it really is just a bit of playing around I'm going to move the D down because it's going over the line all right so that's my logo ready to go I would love a donut there. So you can either go at school, we call it to the mountain, insert images, upload from the computer, but I usually just go to Google. So I'm going to cinnamon donut. Now remember PNG. PNG means it's got a see through background. You have to play around because the ones that come up, they're not always see through. Or you can write transparent. Background. You 
because we don't want a square around it. Uh, that one's what I mean. So I'll go to images, see if I can find a donut. Now what you do is you click on it and here the lines come, you wait for it to load. And if that does a checkered background, that usually means that it doesn't have a background because I can show you, all right, we'll copy two fingers, copy image. I'm going to go to my drawing and two fingers and paste. No, see that's not transparent, delete. When I did this the other day, it took me a little while to find one that was transparent. Aha! Have a look. Can you see that, Mr. M? Those lovely checked backgrounds means that there is nothing behind except donut. That's exactly what we want. So two finger, copy image, two finger, and paste that baby down. All right, bring Mr. Donut over. So there's no white background on it, just donut. Perfect. Oh my goodness, it's making me hungry. All right, let's bring that down. All right. Now, often you have to spend some time playing around with. I'm not going to waste your time. I'll show you my finished one later. All right. Now, I need the next part here, cinnamon donut flavor. So we go up to the text box. All right, I'm going to... Very much. I'm going to do flavour separately so I can move them around a bit closer. All right, I definitely need it bigger. 100%. Let's try 48. Ooh, and I don't like that font. I want a little bit font, suppose. All right, I like that. I might have to make it a bit bigger though. Let's go 60. It's all a bit of. Trial and error. Let's do that nice dark red again. Cinnamon donut. Might have to make it a bit brighter red, I think, to stand out. Remember, it's all about standing out. Some people sent me their work and the actual name of the logo didn't stand out yet. That's a bit better. All right, move it over. Oh, let's just do flavour underneath. up here means you can center it align it it's called okay it's a bit hard to see so I'm gonna make it bold baby ah okay now cinnamon donut flavor I wanted an Australian made in Australia made in Australia logo, remember PNG or transparent. Go to the images because I really want it to be Australian made and own. Now I'm sort of going for a classy look, but let's try that one. See if we get the checkers. No, no such luck. Uh, is there another one? Aha! Double finger, copy image, go to my chip packet, paste, a bit too big. You want to hop down there? Yeah. Alright, now I also need, you need to put in the corner how big, oh you want your other toy. So what I'm going to do 45 grams, need to make that a bit bigger. Nip's getting his hair cut today, so next time you see him, oh, he'll look very different. All right, now I also, what did I have on my plan? This is what's good to have a plan. Have a look. Oh, I wanted no artificial colours or flavours. Very important. All right, so no... flavors uh, what did I spell wrong Mr. M oops I'm going to make that a bit bigger I uh, don't mind that font but 
gonna go dark red. Alright, so, now, it is okay, but to me, it doesn't stand out enough. It really doesn't stand out enough. So, I want to get a bit of oomph in there. There's simple, and then there's a little bit boring. So, I'm going to put a background in. So, red and red stripe. background. Now we practice this a bit at school doing some backgrounds. Let's have a little look which one might lift up my... Now I did this yesterday so let's have a look at this one. I'll show you my finished product now. Double finger paste. Oh, it's not really bright enough but anyway that'll do. No, boom, don't like it. And this is what you've got to do. You add it, do you like it? No, well, try again. All right, let's go, copy image. It's all trial and error when you're designing stuff. Very much trial and error. That's how you get a good product. All right, I'm gonna drag it right over the shape and then send that baby to the back. All right, back of the room, we'll go. This M doesn't really do that. See, that makes it pop even more. My lights is over there. Move that over. So you get a general idea. There we go. Cinnamon donut flavor. Look how much difference that makes. Now, I'm not saying everyone go out and do the same as mine. If I see a whole lot with this similar design, I'll be disappointed. So this is the one I did. Uh, where is it? Uh, cinnamon donut. There we go. Have a look at that. That's my design. So I spent a bit more time doing it yesterday. So I've got the Proudly Australian owned. I've got no artificial colours or flavours. I've got how much the weight of it, the flavour quite big, and then my logo there. So if I did another packet, and this is my company, I would just change here. I might put pancake, uh, maple syrup pancake flavour, and I'd have that sitting there. Okay, so everything else would stay the same, and then my flavour would change. All right, so having a look back up here, Mr. M. So think about what colours are you going to use? Are you going to put on things that show what's in your flavour? Or are you going to add like an image to it? Like Mr. Pringles is on here. Like what are you going to do? Have a good think about how you're going to make your stand out from everyone else's. Now, I had a few people who went ahead and started their packets. Make sure your chips are PNG. See how they're cut and pasted that? That doesn't have a background because some people sent me and they had a pink background but then a big white square around it. So that's transparent PNG. So that's important. So any image you type in, type PNG. Number one. I want you to have a lot of fun with this. Maybe you can do a few different versions. People um, keep sending me different versions of their logo. Love it. You might even do one company, like I've done, and do me two different flavours within it. Now, Napoleon comes so he can say goodbye. Oh, come on, big fella. All right, next time you see Nip, you're going to have your hair cut today. Hey? Oh, the new improved Nip. Hey? And he'll smell amazing. So thank you for sending me your work and have fun with this. Bye for now.